This is for every POC community that is currently facing hardships right now. I mean this with all the love in my heart, but it really needs to be said. Black people in the Black community are not your keepers. Our activism and our movements are not a catch-all for every oppressed community. We are not obligated to utilize our activism and our movements and derail our prerogative in order to speak for other communities. I do not mean this to say that we will not stand behind you and amplify your voices when we can because we do and we always have. I mean this to say that we are not obligated to any more than you are obligated to help us. I genuinely do not understand why black people and black movements and black activism and BLM and things like that are constantly being brought up in issues of racism and oppression against other marginalized communities. We are not your catch-all. Black people are not your heroes and undermining the literal centuries of work that we had to put in to get to where we are today is very much anti-black. I want to start this off by saying do not go hate this person. If you are the writer of that comment, feel free to delete it. I'm just using it as an example. Do not go hate to this person. To understand that men can get raped, you have to understand that rape is not a getting dragged in the back of an alley and forcing yourself onto somebody. Rape can happen in like a plethora of ways. Rape can be by threats, by I'll kill myself if you don't, or, you know, I'll hurt you if you don't, or I'll break up with you if you don't. It can be you say no and no and no and no and finally just say yes because they've been pressuring you. That's rape. It can be not stopping when somebody tells you to stop just because, like, you're not, like, saying stop and hitting them. But if you say stop, I don't want to, and they continue and continue and you're uncomfortable, it's also rape. All these things can happen to men. Just because they're men doesn't mean it doesn't happen. There are times where it may be appropriate for you to not disrespectfully invade your teenager's privacy, but to maybe limit the amount of privacy and isolation that they're allowed. After a life-threatening event is certainly one of those situations, especially if it is self-inflicted. Some other examples of times when it would be appropriate for you to pry into their privacy are if you overhear them talking about dating violence or they're crying over a social media post or maybe you find some paraphernalia in their room or their clothing. It's our job as parents to help keep our kids safe and teach them how to keep themselves safe. It's not our job to be spies or investigate their lives or the lives of their friends. Reserve your prying for when they act out of character. So I know a lot of things in popular culture were stolen from black culture, like there's an endless list, but I was particularly focusing on researching rock and how black artists not only like created rock, but it was also heavily influenced by black artists that were doing like bluesy stuff. And look what I found. I cannot believe no one ever told me this. Watch. So y'all know this song. Surfing in the USA. But do you know this song? That Sweet Little Sixteen by Chuck Berry completely ripped off, completely with no credit at all, by the Beach Boys for Surfing in the USA. I can't believe it. Actually, I totally can. For no reason in particular, I'm gonna tell you how to craft a legitimately good online apology. Number one, whatever apology you make, make sure it goes on your main platform. This is gonna be the one where you probably have the most amount of followers. This is your audience that's mad at you, and this is the audience that deserves to see you apologize. Number two, this apology has to come promptly. You have a max of 48 hours, and even that's pushing it, to get out a nice apology after verifying the claims. Don't try and BS. You messed up. Take responsibility. Number three, acknowledge what you did and why it was wrong. I don't want here well some people are upset with me or maybe if your feelings got hurt no what did you do and what harm specifically did it cause people number four actually apologize for what you did not i'm sorry that your feelings were hurt that's important number five be very clear about what steps you're going to take about how you're not going to do this in the future and how you're going to teach others not to do the same be upfront be sincere or don't apologize and just deplatform yourself it's that simple you want to know something that I find mildly hilarious in a completely that's fucked up kind of way? Is that the argument of, oh, if we play employees more, then that means the prices of items are going to skyrocket and then we're back in the same place. Yeah, that whole argument falls apart when you realize just how much of the shit that we use is made from prison labor.
You want to know what's even more fucked up? A good portion of the people who are being used for prison labor don't get paid for their work. And the people who do get paid for their labor get paid disgustingly low amounts of money, i.e. up to about $2.50 a day. And you wonder why everything's so expensive? The problem isn't how much we pay the employees. The problem is that we're not paying attention to how much CEOs pay themselves. You're so fixated on minimum wage, you don't realize that we should probably have a cap on maximum wage. No one needs to be making a million dollars a fucking year. Hi, I just wanted to let you know that our best friend just got fired over text um, because they couldn't drive in um, because it was blizzarding outside. Um, if you can donate to their Venmo or anything or just go to their profile and um, um, give them views or support them, that would be awesome. I'm going to tag their profile. I don't think blizzarding is a word. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, please go help our best friend. She's really nice. We love her. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> we love her. She's an angel. <laughs> Show these girls that I own them Some call me Nikki, I'm some just me call them Skeezer, please, I'm in a visa Just happy to knock my own sneaker Sexy, sexy, that's all I do I could write a million things about you These words could come to life and dance around you Just another way to show my love surrounds you I could be the only person that you're bound to I could make you feel me just through words alone Consume my love until you feel it in your bones There's a bunch of things that I could do But I couldn't be the best me without you I can still recall our last summer, I still see it all. Walks along the Seine, laughing in the rain. Uh Talk right now, I'm doing hot girls. Fuck being good, I'm a bad bitch. I'm sick of motherfuckers trying to tell me how to live. Black holes hate under my pictures on the gram. Ugh. Bitch, you better hope I never run across your... Please stop scrolling. Which is, which is not good news. Now you might think that I'm crazy, but about five years ago there was a fella named Bruce Jenner. Now as you can see in his responses to criticism, he's unwilling to change. And it pains me to say this because I love him, but this is what we're going to do. You're going to call that number and write that email asking for his removal. Only 10 or 15 seconds of your time is all I need. Please listen. <laughs> In honor of Black History Month, I partnered with Trans Women of Color Collective, a not-for-profit organization with a great cause, and you can read more about them on their website. I would very much appreciate if you click the link in my bio and make a donation. Any amount counts and is very much appreciated. Thank you so much. <laughs> I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am rich, I am that bitch I am gonna go get that bag and I am not gonna take your shit I am protected, well respected, I'm a queen, I'm a dream I do what I wanna do and I'm who I wanna be Other boys do, they stare at me 